Hey everybody, Sun Gadget Guy here, and what's old is new again. The stylus is making a return as a productivity tool. You know, phones like the Note have been uh, celebrating the stylus for a little while. Apple just recently made news by announcing the Apple Pencil, which is going to play with the iPad Pro. You know, a fun little way to kind of doodle on the screen or control various aspects of your smartphone, fine point precision control. And unfortunately for other phones, which don't have that stylus support built into them, the tools that we've had at our disposal have been these really cheap pen pointer tools. Usually have a rubber squishy nub at the end of a plastic stick and they work okay but they're really not that much more accurate than the pads of our fingers well the folks at stylopen.com are looking to change that with the stylo stylus this is an active fine tip stylus so this is a powered super fine point pen which you can use on just about any capacitive screen and before we get into the review we kind of just need to talk about how dumb i am when the folks at stylo sent over this unit to review they also sent it with one of their precision film screen protectors now me, being the tech expert that I am, I thought that this pen would only work if you had one of these protectors on. And so since they sent me one for the iPad fourth generation, I actually took time. I took about two weeks to try and track down an iPad. I don't use the iPad. I had a friend, they already had a screen protector on theirs. They didn't want to pull their screen protector off just to put this film one on. I was offering to replace it for them. And uh, I really did. I genuinely believed that this thing wouldn't work unless you had one of their screen protectors on your phone or tablet, which was completely not the case. This is a universal stylus, and it doesn't require an additional film or screen to be placed on your device. But if you want more of the sensation of writing on paper, then their precision film screen protectors will give you a nicer writing surface. Now, Stylo is a very simple cylindrical pen. There's a power button, which turns the stylus on and off. It is an active battery-powered stylus. And as such, if you unscrew the rear of the Stylo, you can get to the AAA battery. I'm going to pop this open right now. It's a little AAA battery, battery included. So nice on Stylo for actually giving us a, a battery to start this thing up. Just screwing this back in place. Stylo estimates 10 hours of continuous usage on one AAA battery. But as a conservative estimate, they think that 10 hour runtime is gonna give you about a month of battery life in intermittent use. Got a nice little protective cap. We can pop this off and stick it on the back so that we don't lose it. A nice touch, because I'm constantly losing pen caps. Getting nice and close to the stylus here. You can see this is a much finer point than most of the other capacitive styluses that we play with for capacitive screens. It's just a little bit thicker than a ballpoint pen, but you can see it's much smaller than this rubber padding, which basically just mimics my fingertips on other cheaper styluses. Stylo also comes with a handy trick of being adjustable. Rotating the tip, you can change the sensitivity of the stylus output. So screwing it all the way into the pen makes it less sensitive, rolling it back out makes it more sensitive. It's a handy little feature, especially if you're using a glass screen protector, you've just got an extra barrier between your stylus and your screen. So I suppose we should probably talk about how Stylo actually works in operation. Got a little green light there showing that Stylo is activated and now I can interact with just about any phone as if I had a high quality stylus. There's zero lag and it's an immediate response with the phone screen that I'm interacting with. It's really a beautifully smooth experience, even just pulling up something like a, a memo app and doodling on the screen. I can kind of, you know, make purple splotches or come back in and I want finer point control in red. I can dial that way thin. And I actually have the sense, I have the feel that the phone is responding to the super fine point far more accurately than what I think I would be able to do with a fingertip or with any of these other sort of non-powered or non-active styly. What exactly is the plural of stylus? Is it styluses or styly? I should probably look that up before I start shooting videos. But it really has been fantastic playing around with this just for how stonking smooth it is. It's the closest I've ever gotten on my LG to having the experience that I find on my Note 4 or Note 5. And because the tip on stylo is powered, I also feel you've got a wider range of angles that you can actually use this with. If I'm coming in on a really shallow angle, it's still registering on my screen, and I don't have to worry about it missing input. This is a more comfortable angle for how I would normally be writing with a pen. I'm not having to hold the stylus perpendicular to the screen to feel like it's going to properly interact with the phone. That's how I often feel with a passive stylus. I can't use them very accurately at an angle, especially at an angle that I would normally be writing on a piece of paper. I always feel like I have to push more directly onto the phone screen at an angle that I normally wouldn't hold my pen at. And as opposed to just using a finger, a stylus just seems to take up less of my field of view. My hand is blocking the screen less. Now, doodling all over your screen is all well and good, but I want to try stylo with a game. So Skyforce is one of my all-time favorite top-down shooter, shoot-em-up games, and uh, I hate playing it on any other phone but the Note. 
because the note, you've got the stylus, it doesn't block, your hand doesn't block the uh, the screen because there are all these bullets and things flying all over the place. And if stylo can hang with that kind of visceral shoot 'em up action, then I think we've got a winner on our hands. I'm not gonna push this too hard. We're just gonna do, uh, let's just do the first mission, but we'll do it, we'll go, we'll go hard. We won't go insane. So I don't know what this is gonna look like and I don't know how this is gonna control, but we're into the game. I'm gonna tap on my little ship and it looks like uh, this is pretty fluid. Try and get all those little stars, get all those little mission items, gonna fly around. Now, this is following me really smooth. This feels a lot like how this game plays on something like the Note 4. I, I, I mean, because that's where I did almost all of my gameplay on uh, on this game was on the Note 4. So I'm, I'm very impressed with how fluid and how precise, even for gaming, something like Stylo is for phones that don't have inductive sensors built into the phone for inductive styluses and this is way better than any capacitive stylus that I've ever used in the past. Of course the only thing Stylo can't do that maybe a proper inductive stylus might be able to do is uh, Stylo is not going to be pressure sensitive because your phone doesn't have that intelligence built into it to, uh, to properly register how hard you're pressing on the stylus. And also the apps wouldn't know what to do with that because Stylo is a completely standalone solution. But uh, for a lot of what we do on our phones, you just need to do uh, like do some quick note taking. You wanna do a screenshot of a web page, make, uh, make some notes on that web page and then send that off as uh, to like a web designer or something like that. Or you just wanna fiddle around and blow some stuff up in your favorite shooter game. Uh, Stylo is proving to be a phenomenal little accessory. I suppose we should probably talk about about price, Stylo is going to be more expensive than a uh, than an inert stylus. Uh, right now, if you shop this puppy on Amazon, you can pick up Stylo for seventy dollars. I believe the price is sixty nine ninety nine. And I was a little dubious at first, especially because I thought initially that Stylo had to be used with some kind of screen protector. As that's not the case, you don't have to buy an additional screen protector just to use this fancy uh, active stylus. Uh, that makes uh, my impression of Stylo a lot uh, a lot kinder. That seventy dollars. This this works so much better than any other stylus that I've used in the past. So of course, the uh, you know part of the question is gonna be, do you need a stylus for your phone or for your tablet? And if you don't really need one, then yeah, $70 is gonna be kind of extreme and you can get away with one of those little gimmicky $5 plastic sticks with a rubber nose cone on it. But if you really do wanna take you know fine point and precision touch controls up to a much higher standard and you don't wanna have to buy an iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil or a Galaxy Note tablet or a Note phone, this is an excellent solution. So folks, if this is the solution you've been looking for, definitely check out stylopen.com. You can also shop the Stylo on Amazon. They come in black and white finishes. Plus, if you're using Stylo with a phone like the LG G4, you're just never gonna have to worry about inserting the stylus backwards and jamming up your phone like you can on the Note 5. Oh, burn! But no, seriously, folks, check them out, stylopen.com. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos and reviews like these. And I would not be able to continue producing on this channel if you all weren't out there supporting it through hitting the fan funding, uh, getting yourself a free audiobook from Audible using the link below this video, shopping for a loop crate, or just by sharing my videos on your favorite social services like Twitter and Facebook and Reddit and the Googles Plus, so please keep bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review. Shh. <laughs>